Sumayya says, what is the awrah of women in front of other women that needs to be covered? This is an issue of dispute. And the reason of that or behind that is that we do not have a clear cut evidence from the Quran and Sunnah to prove it. But we have general evidences. And this is where the scholar has an upper hand over laymen and normal people because his understanding is far greater than their understanding. His knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah and the opinion of the Salaf is way far greater than others. So he has the ability to come up with verdicts where the layman would say, where did you get this from? And to explain that to him, he would probably need ages. It's like a goldsmith. When you go to a jeweler's shop and you give him a watch and he looks at it. Or you give him a bracelet and he checks it out and he tells you that this is made of gold, 18 carat. Or this is fake. How did you know that? He said, this is my job. This is my experience that I'm implementing after so many years. Most people say, I don't buy it. I don't believe you. When you take a car to a mechanic and he just listens to the sound of the engine and he says that you need to do this and that and your car would be fine. And you say, oh, you did not pl plug it in into any computers or you did not check what's under the hood. He said, I no, no, I don't need to. The symptoms you told me and by the sound of the engine, I can tell. This is collected through so many years of experience, in addition to the knowledge. So the scholars came up with what is halal and permissible and what is haram when it comes to women showing other women. If you go to the books of fiqh, you would find things that are, are outrageous. Yani, there are opinions that states that the aura of a woman, of a woman in front of another woman is from the navel to the knees. What? Do you mean that if a woman sits topless in front of another woman, this is okay? Said, yeah, this is okay. The books, some books of fiqh say this. And if you want to justify this, they would go and say that they need to breastfeed and they mix with other women and sometimes they may expose this because of feeding the children, blah, blah, blah. But how do you go further and expand it to this much? And how do you open it to the public so that women can wear nude dresses in front of one another as we see in uh, uh, um, weddings and, and, and gatherings. This is totally prohibited. So the most authentic opinion is that what is normal among women and their non-mahram men to show is permissible. And scholars said that what women wear of their jewelry is halal to expose. So, for example, the earrings means that the ear, the neck, the hair can be exposed to other women and to, non -ma to mahram men. The neck, not down to the cleavage, but the neck is part of the chest is okay because usually women wear necklaces. The arms from the shoulder down is okay because usually women wear a certain type of uh, a bracelet uh, uh, up their biceps. This is okay, but the shoulder itself here is not permissible to be shown like some dresses where the upper shoulder and, and the arms are exposed. The back itself a little bit under the neck is okay, but to have the back open till the, the, the back of the back, you know, uh, the end of your back 
this is not permissible. The legs are okay to the middle of them. So, and some say to below the knee, but not the knee and what is above it, because women wear anklets, etc. So in short, this is what a woman can wear, providing it is not tight, exposing her curves and her bone structure, and providing it is not see-through, as so many women do, unfortunately, now. A days and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.